Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on how to generate transfer certificates for students on EMIS portal. To begin, open your preferred browser, which in this case is Mozilla Firefox, but you can also choose Google Chrome. So I'll be moving towards my preferred browser and open it. Once it opens, you can enter the website of the EMMIS application in the URL section of the browser, that is emis.sikimedutech.in. Click on search. Once you click on search, a landing page of the web portal of EMMIS shall open up, as you can see on the screen. In the topmost bar, you will find four menus, which are basically home, school, GIS, and login. Alongside, you will also find the badging of EMMIS, that is Education Management and Monitoring System, and the Get Started menu. And under that, you will find the information of EMMIS application and further stats on users, students, and schools registered into the portal. We will be directly moving on with the login process. So once you click on Login, a login screen or the login page will open up wherein you will be able to enter your school data operator email, that is the username and the password. Your username is the registered email address in the EMMIS application, whereas the password you will be entering here can be found in the confirmation email that was sent to your registered email address during the verification process. Enter the username and once that's done, you will be required to enter the CAPTCHA Enter the CAPTCHA code without any spaces in between. Once you do that, you can click on Sign In. But before you sign in, if you haven't registered your school into the EMMIS application, you can view the previous tutorial, that is, Part 1 tutorial on registering school, or you can go through the manual for getting started. Considering you've already registered your school, we'll be directly signing in. Once you sign in, you will be redirected to the school page. To begin with, click on Student Management, present at the left-hand side menu bar in your school dashboard, and head towards Lists and Registration, as you can see on the screen. Once you click on Lists and Registration, you will be redirected to a page, wherein you will be able to view the details of entire students with respect to the academic session by filtering the options. Now let's say we are configuring for Himalaya Test School, from which student A wants to apply for a TC in order to take admission to another school in the same district. In this case, the school is required to generate TC from the portal. To do that, you can click on View against any respective students who wants to generate TC. Once you click on View, the details page of students will open up. Now directly move towards the action menu present at the top right corner of the student details page and click on it. Once you click on it, there will be two options as you can see on the screen, that is edit details and issue transfer certificate. So click on issue transfer certificate. Once you click on it, student transfer details page will open up wherein you will be able to provide further details for generating TC. This includes date of leaving, reasons for leaving school, transfer class details, student character, and remarks section. For example, let's say date of leaving could be 14th February 2022. Reason of leaving could be something like taking admission in a new school, Transfer class details includes options such as past, not past, or not appeared, which in this case we can proceed with past. Similarly, we can choose the class of the student for which student shall be liable to take admission in the current academic session. In this case, the student is currently at class 1, so we can transfer him to class 2. And likewise, in the student character, you can provide the detail as good. Or any other remarks as per the school direction. Alongside in the remarks column, we can choose the category of TC which involves whether the student has joined another school in the district, has joined school outside state, opted for employment, 
or leaving school that is drop out. In this case, we will be going with an option of joint school within district. Once you enter all the details, you can click on save and once you click on save, a confirmation page will open up wherein you can confirm the transfer of the respective students by clicking on the confirm button. Once you click on it, the transfer details of the student will be displayed in the portal with the respective TC number. Moreover, the school users will be able to print the TC. By clicking on print and share it with the student who has opted for it. This way, the TC can be issued from the respective school. Now what happens is, since the student is getting admitted into any schools within the district, therefore, while readmission, students are compulsorily required to register via the transfer number. However, if the student is joining any new schools outside the West District or the State of Sikkim, the students need not require a DC number generated from the EMIS portal for the readmission. This is also applicable for students opting for employment or leaving school. In the next tutorial, we will be going through the process for readmitting students via the TC number generated from the EMIS portal. Thank you.